uh, after some lectures uh, and uh, views of our professors in some fields, urology, gynecology, uh, colorectal, bariatrics, uh, we'll go to wet lab and uh, probably we have uh, three sessions uh, with uh, dark operation, live operation of dark, uh, and you'll uh, yourself hands on try to put uh, ports to use the energy sources to use the instruments of laparoscopy and uh, in the next week uh, from Saturday uh, till uh, Monday to have again some courses uh, theoretical and uh, gathering in the operating room with other uh, professors uh, in mother and child hospital and in family hospital. We'll give uh, the detail of the program to you. Uh, now, if uh, Dr. Safa would like to introduce uh, their colleagues, where are they from, uh, what is the level of them, what did they do uh, in what Iraq? They, what they want. What they, I don't know. Yes, they, they want to see you. Uh, <laughs> your friend wants to see Yes. Yeah, and Easy. any how you would like. After that, uh, Dr. Anand <coughs> will come to speak about the port insertion uh, and the new curriculum and entrance to the abdomen. Okay, welcome Thank again. You. Thank you for this gathering. Uh, we are presenting our deep plans to
Dr. Haider is practicing very good laparoscopy with his supervisors and he is now a uh, consultant in Nahrem. Nahrem University. And uh, Dr. Asad is uh, Dr. Muhammad Arkhand is in the uh, Iraq World Consumer Center. Dr. Tahar and Dr. Zayd joined us on this training course and they are doing the, uh, not alone, lab and drug training. And lab was, huh? Did you say? Lab and drug training and uh, lab for uh, renal cyst. And uh, I think they we started to do something in bioplastic by lab was Yes. Okay. That's all. Thank you very much. Welcome. I hope that you are a good trip and you are fresh now after sleeping, taking breakfast, and you are ready to use our program. Uh, it is good to give uh, the specialty of your colleague with their name to me or Professor Husseini uh, to arrange uh, the operating room that uh, gynecologists. Uh, members of the team go to the operating room of the gynecology, we'll introduce the urologist to our professor of urology and arrange the operating room to uh, the same specialty to use better and we'll be friends for the next gathering. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, please. I was, I was going to say because the Torazar always paid me. We are involved in general surgery, not in gynecology. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please, we can prepare something for the gynecologist. <laughs> this is the main issue. Yeah. Ah, sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Uh, the two are to the about the about also consultant, and uh, he's uh, doing the advice of surgery since May. For eight years, yes. And the uh, other also is for this much. I have said the picture of the Yes, yes. 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 Also, I think your colleagues who are so expert in laparoscopy can help us and help our group uh, to give a better chance to learn and also learn us. We will be happy to give your experience and also increase our experience here by your colleague. Thank you very much. And what about you yourself, Dr. Sassan? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, Dr. Sassan? We are very humble experience in laparoscopy, uh, actually. Uh, and uh, frankly, I can say this, because we didn't learn laparoscopy in academic way. And uh, now we are thinking to go in an uh, academic way in laparoscopy to avoid hazards of complications. You know, there are difficulties in Iraq how to get the certificate of laparoscopy. Uh, this training course, we made it to facilitate how to get the certificate to uh, enter in the safe way laparoscopic intervention. Uh, although we have license, but we are eager to learn more and more, especially in advanced laparoscopy. For example, so now we are doing something in our GI. On the location of the laparoscopy, only two cases, not all the cases. And in the field of urosurgery, laparoscopy is very, very uh, difficult for the patients involved. They are uh, supervised by uh, surgeons who are not doing laparoscopy. So I this very is to overcome the difficulties. That's right. Uh, I think that uh, this communication and especially the courses that your colleagues passed here, a uh, full course of advanced laparoscopy, as Dr. Like, uh,
احمد هست دکتر عبدالرزا دکتر عبدالزید دکتر خیر الله مذهب دکتر خالی فرانکو uh, and uh, in the unexpert, you can speak prof like that if you want. If you want, you have any comment? You can. We will use. I'll give this microphone to him to speak if you want. Uh, I think this communication and uh, a full course of laparoscopy from the beginning up to finishing, which is usually at least is 18 months to 24 months, is a classic course of laparoscopy. Uh, but we can divide these courses to some small courses, and uh, I know that some of us can't go to other countries for a long period. We can divide these long courses to a small one, three months courses of uh, orientation of the basic laparoscopy and in the next year, three months other for bariatric, in the next year, three months for urology, for other colorectal. Uh, and uh, anyhow, we can use, we can help our brothers, sisters in Iraq. We are ready to help them. And also, I think, we learn also ourselves from you and uh, from your country. If you have any comments. No, Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome. Dr. Ahmad. Anywhere it's needed, you can change to Arabic language. We understand a little bit of show, but it's a policy.
are caused at the time of initial accesses. It's very important to be careful in the inter into the abdomen. So we have the steps of access. First, entry is of two types. Closed type, usually with gross needle. Before we enter the abdomen, we should uh, be sure that we did the white balance and we, everything is okay. The laparotomy set is available. Everything is available, section, etc., etc., should be available, available before we enter the abdomen. Otherwise, when we enter and Still we have not white balance, still we have not anything to preparation and we enter and then we do, we may did injury to the visceral or blood vessels and uh, we will uh, take and uh, make a mistake by delaying uh, to enter and to see what, what is happening after we enter blindly or, or by the rest or by problem. First of all, when we uh, proceed in advanced laparoscopic surgery, we, we had to do uh, urinary catheter and nasal catheter, especially in laparoscopic surgery, in doing left, uh, left colectomy or low anterior section or rectal surgery. Uh, it is very important, or gynecological procedure, it is very important to put a urinary catheter because uh, sometimes patients <coughs> are full of bladder and we enter by uh, Virus needle and we make injury. It is happening many times. Uh, the same in the upper GI surgery, laparoscopic surgery. And uh, it is better to put the patient in supine with 10 to uh, 20 degree head down position so that we, uh, when we enter by virus needle, we enter to the bifid cavity uh, with a direction to the bifid cavity because in this position we have more room, more place. Uh, entering the, the visceral will go upward and we have more space to put uh, the uh, virus needle without doing the injury to the visceral. Uh, we can use uh, superior or inferior border of the ambulacus accordingly according to our surgery. How to take virus needle? We are talking it in Najaf. It is like taking it like and with the same, it is man, with the same, our room, our room is severe, in the virus needle. We should check the virus needle because virus needle have the springs and uh, we can check the spring. Sometimes it is not working and we can check the, uh, by a syringe uh, the inside of the virus needle. Is it uh, opened or sometimes there is debris or this? There is obstacle inside the virus. Uh, we should uh, stabilize the umbilicus by two helices and start the crease. Usually, the, we use a smile incision to put more cosmetic to the incision. We put the point the virus needle in the wound that we created and then lift the abdominal wall upward like this, like in this picture we lift the abdominal wall. Uh, we can use it, you can, we can use uh, towel clips, but it is not preferable because it may injury and then post operative. This is a picture how to put elevate the abdominal skin and put the virus needle in about 40 to 5 degree level from the abdominal wall and elevate the uh, uh, abdominal wall and put the virus needle about 45 degree. We should uh, hear uh, two click sounds. The first click sounds is the, the sounds of the sheath, abdominal sheath, in the midline. Two click sounds. First click sound is our the sounds of the sheet. The second is the sound of the peritone. But in the bilateral side, we we hear three click sounds. Two click sounds for the sheet, anterior posterior sheet, and 
The third one is the sound of the breath. The sound only here by hand, not by hand. Yes, yes, yeah. by hand. It is. Okay. Yes. How to uh, ensure that you, we are entering safely the, inside the abdomen? And it is, uh, yeah, it is okay. We have four tests: needle movement test, the needle, uh, the virus needle moving freely in and out uh, inside the wound that we are creating, the rotation test, aspiration test, hiding drug test, and quadrimonometric indicator. I will be talking about that, but in uh, obese patients, when we're doing a uh, laparoscopic surgery for sleep acetone or bypass, we have special technique we are using here every time in the Papilla hospital. Uh, we uh, make an incision here, and then by a cover uh, instruments, making dissection in the fatty tissue until we reach it. Uh, Chief and we grasping the sheath and sheath and putting it, uh, picking it up. Uh, you you will not see that the skin is bulging. Just the sheath is coming up. The skin is normal. And then we uh, the sheath will be coming up and we insert uh, the rosmetal, which is very easy technique and it is, it is we can avoid many injury during this procedure. It's very very easy. This is an irrigation test. When pushing the water by side, it is moving easily inside the abdomen. Otherwise, if it, there is any resistance, you are in the preperitoneal stage. This is aspiration test. Uh, if you, you are inside the abdomen, uh, you cannot aspirate anything except you are injuring the bowel or <laughs> results. But uh, uh, in the preperitoneal space, if you are in the preperitoneal space, there will be aspiration of the fluid that you are injecting. Hiding drug test when we uh, put a drop of uh, fluid inside the virus needle, it will rapidly, uh, yeah, rapidly go inside the atom. Otherwise, if you are in the preperitoneal or the zero, it will not go inside easy to stay in the virus needle. Uh, and then the finishing technique, uh, we should, uh, as we said, that there is a quadrimonometric uh, encephalator uh, instrument. There is four point. That's why called quadrimonometric test. Uh, we have uh, volume, retest volume, the volume of the volume of the CO2 and the pressure uh, inside and the flow rate. We have four quadrimonometric. The very, very important in the start to, to inflate slowly. About uh, usually one milli, one, uh, mil, uh, one liter per minute, one liter of CO2 per minute. And if it, we are uh, sure we are sure that we are inside the peritoneum and that the gas flow easily, we can increase the flow up to 2.5 liters per minute. Otherwise, if you increase the encephalation rate rapidly, you get uh, the patient very bright because uh, of risk of high flow uh, So, uh, primary trocar insertion. Same in the virus uh, insertion, you should put the patient supine and about 10 to 20 degrees at down position. We usually use in the lighter because it is the uh, thinnest part of the abdominal wall. For cosmetically, it is better and there is no significant blood loss in the, the lighter region. It is an avascular region. Uh, we can use inferior piece for gynecological procedure. For Laparoscopic uh, colorectal procedure, superior crease for the lacus for abdominal, upper abdominal surgery. And uh, sorry, and if you have any incision about the umbilicus in previous operation, we will, we will talk as you yes, about okay, it. Thank you. If 
you have uh, previous surgery, you have scar, the midline, lower midline, we can use left hypochondrial region, which is the safest area. We, uh, this uh, site we call it a Palmar technique. Palmar. Uh, for the blind trocar entry, we can confirm the entry by also quite a monometric indicator. Uh, as we said that, the quality monitoring indicator, uh, we can talk it later about, about it for short notes. But in the blind technique, we can extend, we should extend the incision at least 11 millimeter or a little more. Of course, if we make a pressure with the short, uh, incision, we can maybe giving away the total rapidly and do injury to the viscera. First, we can separate the fatty tissue with kill and then we can enter safely like this. After we extend the incision, we dissect the fatty tissue and then we can go lightly with the trocar. But it's, as we said, it is not preferable. How to hold the Trocar. This is the standard technique to hold the trocar by thinner muscles. We put the trocar, base of the trocar here, and we gently press the trocar inside the abdomen with the port. Of course, we should, uh, again, we should lift the abdominal wall as much as possible and to make it 44, uh, 45 degree. And once we, uh, the trocar giving away, we decrease the angle so that the trocar uh, pass uh, immediately behind the posterior abdominal wall. This is what we're talking about. Once we go inside the abdomen, we tilt the degree, decrease the degree of the angle of insertion, 60 to 70, to pass immediately behind the posterior abdominal wall and don't uh, injure any viscera in the Also, have to confirm the trocar entry, audible click, washing sounds of the CO2, and loss of resistance. Once we enter the uh, port, we should go by the telescope and immediately examine the, uh, the site below the excess wound because sometimes we enter and go uh, upward to the site of our procedure or downward to the, if we have collectum or bi uh, bariatric procedure. It is happening. Uh, once time I remember my colleague, we injured the mesentery, but he doesn't look at the site of the bus and immediately and go upward. We have doing a laparoscopic sleep, gastrectomy, and nearly in the middle of the operation, the patients uh, become uh, blood pressure become decreased, they go bradycardia, and the patient was in shock. And after examination, we found bleeding in the pelvis because the patients in the sleep gastrectomy put the patient empty to their position, and we found that uh, large hematoma in the mesentery and some of them Pelvis. Then we convert the patient into the laboratory. It's very important. Once you uh, enter by the port, you should examine the site of the mesentery immediately or the bowel immediately below the site of entry. Subsequent trocar insertion should be under direct. It's very important. We have any procedure. Uh, we enter, but we injure the inferior or superior digastric artery, which is very uh, common. We see many injury for the inferior or superior digastric artery. Contraindication to umbilical entry, uh, there is a previous midline incision, or the patient has portal hypertension with recanalized umbilical artery, umbilical abnormality, Abnormalities like uh, urethral cyst, sinus hernia, these are contraindications for umbilical entry. 
Uh, why open technique? As you know, it is a definite small risk for injury with blind technique, irrespective, irrespective of experience. It is, doesn't matter what is, how much you have experience. It's very important to be careful at all times. Increasing number of surgeons performing laparoscopy without experience, and particularly useful in previous abdominal surgery or underlying adhesion. And uh, as you know, Hassan Kanga or Hassan port is uh, the easiest and safest port that is can be used, which is a type of open technique. You should open the sheet and then enter because it have uh, it have a blunt uh, end. You can enter safely after opening the wound and the sheet. Inshallah, we will show this uh, technique in the operative, operative. I, I think you and all of you know about how to enter by open technique, opening the skin, dissecting the fatty tissue, grasping the teeth either by a clamp or by a suture, and bringing the teeth upward and incising the teeth and then uh, entering the trocar safely after the after you saw the uh, intra-abdominal visceral directly by directly vision it is uh, the safest method. These are pictures. These are how as we talk practically how to steps of open access technique. There is no important things. Uh, how to uh, in, in the diagnostic laparoscopy? Maybe we do it for general contraindicated general anesthesia. When it is contraindicated, we can use uh, sedation and insert gross needle and trocar uh, vertical to the skin with a slow insufflation, of course. Pressure should not exceed 8 millimeter of mercury. Usually, in the general practice surgery, we put a pressure at 12 millimeter mercury. Preset and during operation, we put pressure at 12 millimeter uh, When you go upward, upward, up to 18 millimeter mercury, the, the complication will increase, like DVT, pulmonary embolism, pneumothorax. Uh, uh, it is very dangerous. When you go upward, there will be or returning or venous return or visco, the risk of ischemia would be increased. If the patient has previous ischemic heart disease, uh, the risk of uh, shock and ischemia and infarction during operation is very high. So the, the uh, average pressure and the usual pressure we put at 12 millimeter In obese patients, it is better to uh, go trans -imbilical. We can uh, go trans safely after uh, and bring, uh, grasping the abdominal wall by two counters or by, by hand. It is better and put perpendicularly in the bilicos. But as, as I told you, uh, for our experience here, we always use the uh, cohort instruments, uh, grasping the sheath and bringing it up and we enter by the very easy. If we have a previous prior abdominal procedure, we choose usually left hypochondrial region by palmar technique, but we can use right or left leptosin, uh, but we should avoid uh, inferior gastric artery. And nowadays, nowadays it is uh, we, uh, available, but not uh, present here in Papini. There is an optical proper technique. So we can use uh, this new method. And we also we use here uh, optical uh, port, VC port. We can use it here, but the telescope should be zero at first, and then we change it to 30 degree telescope. Uh, usually, the most 
and common complication during the injury to the abdominal wall is a small bowel injury. Then after that, go on your neck, let up, give our stomach, and adults. And the most uh, common piece uh, of injury is the iliac artery, and then after that, complication of excess, as we know, gas embolism, other complication, momentum, surgical pneumonia, pneumonia, stinia, and so on. Thank you very much. not so sufficient to work easily and well, you can increase it, uh, the abdominal pressure up to 20. Amen. And more than that, especially more than 30, is uh, hazardous and uh, may induce uh, abdominal uh, yeah, and uh, compromise the venous return and other complications will be increases. Uh, and, uh, instruments in suffilators which uh, induce pneumoperitoneum or gas uh, in suffilation uh, press at the to more not more than 20 it's not rises after if you want it's not rises after 20 in the pediatric age group and sometimes in chest in vats uh, when you want to work in the thoracic cavity someone not use CO2 insufflation at all, but use the double lumen tube to collapse one line. But sometimes it's not so easy to work. It is better to insert uh, gas about five, uh, less than five, about five, six uh, centimeters uh, or in this range uh, to not compromise the venous return, not the cardiac work. And we use this level of the gas insufflation. And uh, as uh, Dr. Ahmad, I think, uh, said, with the virus needle, you can push more than 2.5 liter per minute. If you open all the way, it only goes up to 2.5 liter per minute. But when you insert the, the main port, it is better to go the, in the abdomen slow by slow because one of the complications is vasovagal and bradycardial, sometimes arrest. And if not, uh, rapid insufflation with, uh, will increase the abdominal pain after operation. The patient will complain of so significant pain because of the rapid distension of the abdomen. In the, also in the, in the closed space, we can use hybrid microscopic surgery. Yeah. Also, usually we uh, use high pressure up to 20 to insulate the rectum the procedure yeah. in the closed space that the the microscope, in the microscope, all these closed spaces we can use high pressure safely without uh, any wet. You should yeah, remember that after 18 millimeter mercury the complication will start. If the elastical valve is confident, it will be stopped. And it's, if it is incompetent, yeah, you should continue to no, it the gas. Not, uh, go because the, the Usually it not goes to the right side. Rectal sigmoid ankle and this uh, angulation will uh, stop, stop the, the gas. gas Say that the circulation once performed as a tube, the flow rate uh, can be changed from 0 to 9.9. 9.9, 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. very high. Uh, after 7 yeah. when, the, when the circulation consists of each complete or stable. Yes. You can do yes, yes, yes. Right, you can yes, because, put it in because the inspirator uh, will. Auto, 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 yes. Any other comment or question? I think the pressure in 
I remember a case that Veres Needle enters to the transverse column. And the gas go go when we insert the first port, it's a large tube there. This complication occurs and will occur. Usually occurs in beginners and in some expert cases who self-esteem are so high and put the port without any insufflation with high self-esteem. Usually these two groups will damage the patient, the beginners and the so experts. And as you know, the expertism comes from more and more work. But behind this issue that any expert surgeon has more complication before. And if you want uh, to not engage in these complications, you should remember yourself in during any operation that this virus may go to the bladder, may go to the colon, may go to the inferior venous cava. May, if you remember yourself uh, more and more, less complication will occur by you. Okay. A little change in this program. I think that these points that will that I will mention is complete, will complete Dr. Ahmad's uh, lecture. It is about ergonomics in laparoscopic surgery. I am Maskul Amini, General Surgeon and Fellowship of Minimally Invasive Surgery and Bariatric Surgery. As you know, in laparoscopy, Someone thinks that laparoscopy is so easier to do and you stand up, not bend so, you work as this and it's so easier. Most of all surgeon as me has discopathy of the neck because of this situation during the very uh, long period of operation. As this, the small child asked his daddy that, daddy, what is the ergonomy? He replied that it's making children tall enough not have dads bend so. During the laparoscopy you should stay, stand straightly. Your hand should be in this situation. As the breast situation of the orthopedic says, you keep your angle of the elbow in 90 or about you sh the bed level should be as high that you can do as this not this not this when you take the lunch and the food you should sit in an easy level rest level and take the diet so easily if you take if the bench is so high or the uh, desk is so low, you should take as this or this is so difficult. And in laparoscopy, in, in our setting, sometimes we say the patient is in this direction, but the monitor is in that direction. You work as this, so difficult. Sometimes the professor is tall or short, and the assistant is against, if you want to uh, adjust the bed for the professor, the assistant is or as this, or as this. It's so difficult. It's some issues of the laparoscopy. In the beginners, after any laparoscopy, the assistant or the surgeon has a backache, pain in the neck, then go to the bath, go take a shower, go to the massage, uh, especially the surgeon who are not so not to exercise well. Look at in this branch with this instrument and that instrument. You can feel that which is easier and better to take a heavy object up. This is the right way and this is false way. In open surgery as laparoscopy surgery, all of these rules 
uh, work. And uh, as I mentioned, most of the old surgeon has discopathy of the neck because of this situation. If you come to the operating room and see the field, you see sometimes it starts to hear because in this situation, the residents usually take the retractor in this way with a very high pressure on the back. Ergonomics, as medical dictionary says,